<sighs> All right, Charlie, back another video. Back with story time video. Now this story is gonna be more, it's gonna be more on the more serious side. I have a lot of more funny story times. This is one of the rare, more serious videos I'm gonna make. Now, as you guys can see in the title, this happened two years ago today. Hopefully this video drops tomorrow, but it may not drop tomorrow. It may not drop till two, three days later. But yeah, this is a story at a time. Yeah. Of the time when my dad passed away. <clears throat> now, I don't think I'm going to get emotional in the story. Because I've told myself this story plenty of times to myself. And I never told this to y'all specifically on YouTube. But yeah, let's go ahead. And okay, so this story starts around this time last year. February 14th, Valentine's Day, 2019. Right, so me and my parents go out to dinner. Went to Golden Corral, to be exact. Normal day, normal night. Matter of fact, had a dance the next day. So me and my dad, me and my pops, my OG, whatever y'all like to say, we was talking about the dance, what I was gonna wear. You know, it's another night. You know what I mean? And then the next morning, February fifteenth. Um, February fifteenth. I wake up next morning. Nobody's there. It's just me and myself. So I'm just assuming, shoot. My parents probably want to go do some runs. I'm not really tripping, right? So then I get a call. My mom, right? She's like, are you up right now? I'm like, yeah, I'm up. You know what I mean? I'm up. I didn't know that y'all left. But I know what's going on. She tells me, like, she tells me. Your dad is in the hospital right now. Because she was, like, throwing up, coughing really bad last night. And for those that don't know, my dad had open-heart surgery years ago. I'm talking about, like, years, like, 2014, 15. And he lasted longer than he was supposed to, right? So I guess during our time, he had cramps in his side, especially during, like, the 13th, 14th. Uh, 2019, he had like really bad cramps. So I guess when he went out to dinner on Valentine's Day, the next day he had threw up, had really bad cramps, so he had to go to the hospital. So now it's kind of like a coin toss. Like I said earlier, I had a dance the next night, the 15th. So now I'm like, do I want to go to the dance or do I go see my dad in the hospital? Now, knowing him, he, you know, he, he want me to go crazy. Knowing him, he want me to go. That's what the, uh, the you know who's. The girls at the school. So I did. I ended up going to the dance. I ended up going to the dance, you know, get my boogie on, you know. Get the June bug challenge at the dance, all right? But in the back of my mind, I'm like, man, how is my dad doing? So... Dance ends, I go to um I go to the, the hospital that he was at. And when I tell you he was white, you see my skin, right? You see this brown skin, right? He was like white like this. You see this? This uh this napkin I just found out of nowhere. He he was white like that. I kid you not, he was white, he was very pale. He looked sick. So it was kind of hard to look at him because of how sick he was. So he talked for a little bit. You know, he said, I look really fly. I was clean. I guarantee you, I was probably top three cleanest at the dance. I'm guaranteeing it. So then, you know, I posted it on my Instagram. I might have the picture still. My Instagram, my Snapchat, I posted a picture. I might find it, might put it somewhere on the screen, might not, but I 
I end up leaving. Because, you know, I was tired. I end up leaving the dance. And this is important. The last thing that we said to each other was, this was his last words to me. It was, I'll see you later. His last words to me were, I'll see you later. And my last words to him was, okay, I'll see you later. Not knowing this is the last time I talked to him, last time I see him, anything like that. I am going home. The next day, was my cousin's birthday. It was like he's having like a birthday week. So the 15th, the day I left, and the 16th, we really didn't do a whole lot. So now I transitioned from my house going to my cousin's house. Didn't really do a whole lot. Probably went to the movies. Went to a gaming room. I was dropping everybody off. 2K, UFC, all that. Everybody, could nobody beat me in anything. Simple. Nobody could beat me in anything, right? So, it's the 17th. This is where the story really gets interesting. This is pretty much the root and meat of the story. So, the 17th, my cousin doesn't have a car. He still doesn't have a car to this day, right? So we get on the bus. We traveling just place to place to place. My mom hits my phone and is like, I have good news about your dad. He's uh supposed to be getting out the hospital today. It's the 17th. So I'm like, all right, cool. Remind y'all, this is like All-Star Weekend. Normally the 14th through the 17th. So my plan was to go home, talk about everything we did, which is absolutely nothing, and talk about the All-Star Weekend. That was my initial plan, right? So anyways, my mom was like, okay, your dad's getting out of the hospital on the 17th. And I'm like, cool. Fast forward in the day, I get picked up. My auntie picks me up. At my cousin's house, she had two more people to drop off. I'm like, all right, cool. I'll be I'll be on my way home shortly. Um. Now, if you guys live in California, this is on my way back home. If you guys live live in California, there's literally no snow. I'm talking about you either get sun or rain. Or maybe some clouds, but normally sun or rain. You never get snow. I look out the window, and the first time I seen snow on the mountains. I couldn't believe it. So now I'm like, okay, now I got something else to tell my dad. I'm like, okay, now I seen snow in California. Now it's starting to get dark. And my auntie, she does not like driving in the dark at all. Like, she was doing need for speed type of type of speed on the freeways. Like she was sick. She's like, I'm trying to go home. Let's go. So, this is, this is really the story. We are about two minutes from the house. So, we went a route to where there's a school near my house. It, we went. Straight, right, another right, and a left. So when we went right, and then another right, I'm on 20-25 peripheral vision. I see red and blue lights. So I'm not tripping. I'm just thinking my dad is just now making it back home or whatever. My auntie was scared. She was like, call your mom now. Call your mom right now. Where's my other phone? Hold on. All right, I had to go find my phone real quick. So my, my auntie was like, call your mom now. So I call her. I'm not really tripping. So I'm like, is everything good? She's calling me on the phone crying. She's calling me on the phone crying like, where are you at? Are you close by the house? Where are you at? I'm like, I'm down the street. What's going on? I'm talking about I ran out the car. Down the street, you saying boat style, I was gone. Simple. I'm talking about you ain't gonna catch me down these streets. 
run through the front door. Boom! Truck the front door open. I see my mom and 911 basically trying to get what happened because I wasn't there. Now, there is a, a separate story in between this. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you guys, right? So, anyways, run right in the middle of them. Didn't care. ISO. Simple. Get out the way. So, I turn. We have stairs. I turn. I look up the stairs. I see my brother's hands on his head like this. Okay, so this is the mid story that I didn't know about at the time. So this is what happened, right? My dad actually made it back home earlier than I did. And he made, he's a very funny, kind of sarcastic person. And he said that he wanted to sleep till Wednesday. Mind you, he does not like being in the hospital. Always told me stay away from hospitals as much as possible. Hated hospitals. So when he came home, he was like, I want to sleep till Wednesday. Mind you, this is a Sunday. Like this all happened on a Sunday. He wanted to sleep till Wednesday. That's how tired he was. So my mom was doing hair downstairs. And my brother came to the house and was like, do you need anything at the store? I'm going to the store, whatever. Mind you, I'm not here. I'm actually coming back home. He was like, yeah, I need some type of medicine. I don't know what happened when he, my, when my brother left. But as soon as he came back, he was on the floor. He went from the bed, which I was assuming he was in the bed, to the floor. And his hands was on his head like this. And that's where the story So, I'm up the stairs, run up the stairs. I'm talking about marching up the stairs. And I look, and I see my dad on the floor, unresponsive. I'm freaking out. I'm like, bro, like, what is going on? Like, is he playing games? Because y'all probably don't know, my dad is a very funny person. He's one of those type of people that like to play a lot of jokes. But... He didn't move. It ain't like he went like these. Not, none of that. He didn't move. Nothing. He was just, just stuck. So we all run back downstairs. Because you know how, you know how this procedure goes. It's 911. ISO. Let 911 do their thing. Bring him back. That's all you have. Just bring him back. It, we was all downstairs at least 15, 20 minutes. All you hear is clear, boom. CPR, CPR procedure. Clear, boom. Clear, boom. CPR procedure. And then 15 to 20 minutes later, they came downstairs into the room my mom was doing hair in. No happens next. Yeah. Um, sorry to tell you that your husband did not make it. Or my dad passed away just now. My first reaction was like, bro, there's no way this is real. Like, there is no way that this is real. Like, I'm, I'm in high school. You know what I mean? Like, I'm in high school. My dad is gone. Like, bro, there's no way you're telling me that he just passed right now. He's gone. When I tell you the entire family came in, I'm talking about in seconds. The entire family came in seconds. I couldn't believe it. That he's actually gone. Later on, like, I didn't talk to nobody, bro. I said I didn't talk to nobody. 
didn't care at all. It was just bad. Dude, for me personally, like, everything that I like to do, everything I love to do, I didn't want to do it no more. Sports, I didn't care. I didn't care about doing no sports, friends, nothing. I was just solo. I didn't care about doing anything at all. Yeah. That's really the story. I mean, 